The devastating Halloween flood last October left many communities in the Mohawk Valley struggling to repair all of the damage. In Utica, the city created a flood mitigation plan that would reconstruct those affected areas. Our Jasmine Allen spoke to Mayor Robert Palmieri about what projects were included in that plan. Almost a year later, communities throughout the Mohawk Valley are still recovering from the Halloween flood in 2019. This year, Utica's budget included funding specifically for repairing parts of the city damaged by the storm. It's our, our funding, okay. money, money that was already appropriated in other areas that we've taken throughout the budget to accommodate roughly $250,000 of in-kind service of a number of our uh, DPW employees and our park employees and our engineer have done a great job but that's all been uh, funded through the city of Utica. The city and its engineers went to various parts of Utica to determine which projects should be completed. Some of these include repairs on Mapledale Avenue, M. Dale Avenue, Brookside Avenue, Albany Street, and Bleecker Street. We provided the plan and we implemented the plan, and now it's, it was North Utica, South Utica, East, West, and Cornell. All throughout, we've done different things as far as either putting new draining in, uh, cleaning, uh, televising, all different things. So um, we're prepared uh, for a moderate rainstorm. The city has also partnered with some neighboring towns on projects to help prevent extreme flooding in the future. Whatever we can do at this point where it affects Utica to help the slow of that so it doesn't have a catastrophe in Whitestown, we're part of that overall partnership. Uh, as far as like Oneida Street, we're working with New Hartford at this time. We put in a new pipe and drainage up there, looking for them to kind of slow that water on the same principle so it doesn't come all at one point. So it, it's the partnerships that we've, we've put together that hopefully we could reduce the flooding, but probably not eliminate it. Mayor Paul Mary says the city will continue to invest in these resources so that they're as prepared as possible for the next major flood. In Utica, Jasmine Allen, Eyewitness News, First at 10.